This week on Science Sunday, we're making some elephant toothpaste and doing some crazy stuff with some steel wool. You're also going to want to pick up some hydrogen peroxide, top of the solution used for cuts and dyeing your hair if you're m and and all sorts of other stuff. It's going to be one of the key ingredients. Pick up some active dry, dry yeast. You're going to need uh, one tablespoon, so that's like one packet of that as well. I also got some food coloring just to add some colors to the bubbles. You want to pour about three quarters of a cup of hydrogen peroxide and pour that into a water bottle or a two liter bottle, whatever you have fun. Look, it's the blood of the haters. Just kidding, it's just the food coloring. Go ahead and add it to the hydrogen peroxide. Then you want to crack open one of the yeast packets and dump it into a bowl. Make sure you get all of it too, because this is the important part. Then you want to get about a half a cup of water and add it to the yeast. Make sure it's warm so it activates the yeast though. Stir it up until there are no more clumps left. Then add the yeast mixture to the hydrogen peroxide. Sit back and enjoy the volcano. Alright, strawberry syrup. No, there's no. This is the big Ralph's in Ventura, and there's no strawberry syrup anywhere. Are you kidding me? But, Jarrett, look, the strawberry powder. Strawberry powder? I'm asking for strawberry powder. Strawberry syrup, it's not that hard to carry. All you really need today for the second experiment is some steel wool and a lighter. Be careful when handling this though, this is like the coals of a fire. This is what happens when you mix a little bit of steel wool and some other ingredients. Just kidding about that last bit, I had a spare firework laying in my car so I figured I'd trick you guys. This is what really happens when you get a coat hanger and wrap it around some steel wool and swing it around for a little bit. Don't forget to have fun when you're doing one of my experiments. I did this in flip-flops and almost burnt my toes a couple times. You want to be wearing closed-toed shoes for sure. Hydrogen peroxide is also known as a scientific name H2O2. So it has one more oxygen than water. Add that to water mixed with yeast, yeast is the catalyst that brings that extra oxygen out. So when you actually see the bubbles bubbling out of the water bottle, that is, you know, the extra oxygen being taken from the hydrogen peroxide. So it's pretty cool. If you were to use a higher concentrated, this is only 3%, this is just drugstore brand. If you, you could buy 6% from like certain online from hair care products, and you can up to buy up to 30% on uh, chemistry websites. And that you'll get a much bigger reaction. It looks like toothpaste coming out of a tube. That's why I, you know, I dubbed it elephant toothpaste. The second experiment today was the steel wool fire experiment. If you add this with any kind of lighter or even a 9 volt battery because it completes the circuit, this is so frail and so easy to burn that it'll 
it'll burst and you know it'll be that very embry. I remember back in Boy Scouts learning about it. It's you know in basic survival books. It's a very key component, but there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with it. And you know I kind of went kind of went crazy and did a little bit of fun stuff with it. But it's very cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode with two experiments, and I hope to see you next time on Science Sundays. Professor Jarrett signing off. So, we're walking out of Lowe's, and the beeper goes off, and the old lady goes, It's not me. And the lady goes, uh, excuse me, ma'am, and calls her back, and she goes, Are you sure it's not me and not the kid with the backpack? And I go, yeah, it's not me. Keep on walking out of there. Carry a camera bag with me. I got to film this. I went with a top down today, so I got to wear a hat. Doesn't make me look shady. I'm wearing a freaking chef's outfit. Doesn't matter, though.